you can see where our personality is, <laughs> right? We're a balance for each other. It'll be perfect. into the Weaker Vessels Kitchen. My name is Erica Van Bremer. Amy Brunsma. And we're here to encourage you ladies to get back into your kitchens. So, what do we want to talk about today? Attitude. Okay. Let's have a good attitude when we talk about attitude. Um, well, we were talking about how, well, last week, we were talking about um, the introduction of Sabbath and what that can do yes. in your house. Mm -hmm. And then we started talking about um, how sometimes you don't want to do things. Yes. And not just specifically related to Sabbath, but when you are at home and with your kids or doing whatever mm -hmm. and you're tired or you have things going on yes. too, you're not necessarily jumping out of bed in the morning, I can't wait to make French toast right. or let's fold more laundry. Exactly. Um, if you do, that's... Teach us your ways. Wonderful. Um, but uh, as a whole, that's not generally... Yes. Um, we all have grumpy attitudes sometimes. And sometimes they're worse than others. And we just wanted to talk about what that looks like and yeah. maybe what we can do when that comes up. Yes. So um, sometimes attitudes are brought on by a schedule, like a certain time of month. Hmm. And yeah. those times it's easy to excuse ourselves and say, well, I am, you know, whatever. Right. I'm messing. I am um, nursing. I'm whatever, right? Right. That's a big one with newer yes. moms. I'm exhausted. I'm tired, yes. which we certainly can yes. relate to. Yes. We yep. each have three kids. Yeah. Um, and we like to put um, our bad attitudes into a, a class of its own. Like, well, if we're nursing, if we're tired, if we are whatever, that's okay. Right. We justify okay. it away. We justify it. This is the category. As long as you're PMSing, it's okay to be angry or upset. Right. Well, that's not true. No. And God's word does not um, endorse such action. No. At all. As much as our sinful selves would love that <laughs> yeah. to be the case. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the first thing we have to do is do away with excuses um, and stop justifying our actions. Yeah. And that's hard. That is it's like a muscle hard. you need to flex because it takes practice. It's it not like a one-off, I woke up and I'm not going to be angry mm -hmm. anymore. I'm not going to be... And we expect this work. of other people, right? Yeah. If our husband comes home from work angry or upset or grumpy, then we're a personally offended and we do not give quarter for that kind of attitude in him. But for our own selves, well, it's fine. I'm right? laughing because this is a it's, conversation I've had recently in yes. my home. Yes. Um, yes. Kids are the same way, right? Like they didn't get enough sleep last night, so it's okay if they're sassy or disobedient. Right. Um, we were in the car longer than we expected, so now they're grumpy. Um, and we, as parents... It's our job to make sure right. that they are learning to be self-controlled and patient yes. and all these things. But as moms, we have to model it in our own homes, in our own kitchens, yes. right? Yes. Yep. And it's not, yeah, it, it, it's not something that just is a one-off. And it's mm -hmm. not something that you just do. It's practice. And mm -hmm. some of the diligent ways of doing that is like a habit isn't formed in a day. No. So when you wake up in the morning, what is the first Thing that you're doing are right. you being like I already hate today because I know yes. how much is on the docket mm -hmm. or are you immediately going to God in prayer and being like mm -hmm. you know what's on my heart you know what's going on in my life and acknowledging like this is something I've been trying to do more recently because attitude is mm -hmm. something I struggle with sometimes um, but like you know my heart and weed it out weed out the stuff that I don't yes. need and remind me of uh, that you're there like that's we have this yes. amazing opportunity mm -hmm. to go to God in prayer whenever we need and we need it all day yeah. long. So yeah. starting your day off that way, getting into the word, which um, people of all, like young children, we were actually talking with someone about mm -hmm. this yesterday, is as you get older, you mm -hmm. graduate into this position where you can sit and joyfully yes. read your Bible or your book yeah. or whatever for hours in a day. But when you have a brand new baby, it might not look that way. Right. So be realistic. You can still mm -hmm. use audiobooks. You can listen yes. to the Bible while you're nursing your baby. There yeah. isn't. We are no longer. We can't make excuses. No, anymore. we can't. There are none. So those are none. those are things because, mm -hmm. yeah. So th those are two practical ones to start your day off with right away. Yes. Immediately go to God in prayer and then flip on your Bible, read your Bible, or make sure that it's within your next steps yes. of things mm -hmm. that you're doing. If you're making breakfast, turn on the audio Bible or whatever. But it is fundamental for how your right. day goes. Um, you have to hide God's word in your heart. And right. what you put in comes out, right? Um, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yes. So whatever's in your heart is going to come out. And if it is 
ugly not pleasing <laughs> right and it, and it yes. will look ugly that's what we say to our kids like yes. that sounds ugly yes. like what's coming out of your mouth mm-hmm. is just ugly and it's because it's a heart issue mm-hmm. and it's something that we can immediately address right and as we get older you don't really want your friend to be like that's ugly that's not going to make you feel good but sometimes what you need is a friend saying your attitude is really yes. ugly yeah yeah um i think pulling out the root of bitterness as well mm-hmm. sometimes there is a real bitterness about what we have to do versus what our husband does oh, or that's um, a big one it's a joke kind of, but like if you tell your kid to go find something and they can't find it, it's not lost until mom finds it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke, but like sometimes it's not really a joke. Sometimes right. we're really honestly bitter about that. Right. Um, and it just makes the the attitude and the feel of your home sour and ugly. Yeah. And it's not how a Christian woman's home should look, honestly. No. Yeah, we want our homes to be a refuge. Mm-hmm. We want our homes to be a safe space, but refuge and safe. I think should also reflect a joy. And as Mm -hmm. Christians, we should, we have every reason and right in the world to be joyful all the time, even even amidst the worst of circumstances, which sometimes it can be very bleak. We both came out Mm -hmm. of quite an interesting year last year, and there was a lot of different and unique challenges. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean we can't be joyful because the joy of the Lord doesn't mean your circumstances are perfect. Right. And it's our strength, really. Like the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we believe in a resurrection. Like, it's springtime, hopefully soon. Yeah, we'll see. And we believe in the resurrection. We believe that out of death comes life. Right. Um, that's our promise as Christians. And so we can put to death bad attitudes. Um, we can pluck up bitterness and cast it away from right. us. And we can choose joy. We can fill our heart with scripture verses yep. and ask God in prayer um, to help us with those kinds of things. There's no excuse unless you don't believe in the resurrection. Right. And I can attest to that as somebody who struggled in previous years with a, like just a long bout of the ho-hums that mm. turned into just a big, ugly, long attitude. Mm. And when I did really start to greet each day with prayer and being mm. in God's word more often and listening to podcasts instead of, especially now with everything that's on the news all of the time, mm. there isn't a whole lot of great it's true. feel-good segments going on right now. So just... If, if you don't need to listen to it, you don't need to have that on all of the time. Mm-hmm. So feed yourself good sound. There's so many podcasts and different things that you and can music. be listening to. And music. Yes. Um, and I just noticed for myself that everything started to change. Mm-hmm. You don't begrudge being at the sink when you can be listening to something or enjoying something. Mm-hmm. You don't begrudge these little tasks when you realize I'm doing this to the glory of God, whether mm-hmm. it's scrubbing a toilet, making a meal, paying a bill, whatever it might be. And it's be. a blessing from God. Yeah, it's a um, blessing. Some people don't have food to serve their family. So when you make a meal, it is a blessing. When you can plug your vacuum in and vacuum, some people don't have you know right. electricity. It seems like a small thing, but man. It's truly like yeah. um, over the course of the last few centuries, like how far have we come? Right. Um, our tasks are pretty easy in comparison to our yes. fourth grade grandmothers. Right. Yes. I remember having yes. a conversation with my granny about that. She was like, you guys don't have it that hard. Look at all of it. Like, you yeah. don't have to go down to the river and scrub your yes. laundry. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Um, so even these small things that we do find ourselves begrudging here's another load or here's or whatever we need to just stop that yes. like hold those thoughts captive immediately and confess those and if you have to to a friend even like right. when i whenever i have to change another diaper i feel overwhelmed right well feelings lie to us all the time so it just because you have a feeling of being overwhelmed or anxious about whatever right um that's that could very well be a sin in your own heart that you need to confess yep. to the Lord to your husband to your kids maybe and to a friend to keep you accountable. Right, and that is a good one that we should probably talk further about, like uh, real friendship, mm. especially amongst women. But like, if if you are like, well, I don't have a lot of friends, um, start with just confessing it out loud to God, mm-hmm. and then we can talk more about how you can build community. I, I think maybe in the future yeah. that would be a good one. Um, but yeah, accountability is key. Mm. Write it down, say it out loud, whatever, because mm. we all deal with that multiple times a day. My yes. attitude stinks. My attitude's ugly. I don't need to feel that way because I have the joy of the Lord. Right. Yeah. All right. You have anything else to say on this topic? You'll come to find that I have a lot to say about a lot of things, but I think for today that's probably okay. All right. Yeah. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us, and until we're back again, to your, your kitchen. To your kitchen. To your kitchen. To your that's kitchen. gonna be our. That's gonna be our tagline. <laughs> to, our, to your kitchen. To your kitchen. Not our kitchen.